year, my mother was diagnosed with stage four cancer and she was given two weeks to live. And an exact year and eight months later, she's still alive, she still has cancer, uh, but she's better, you know, and she's in less pain and we've been taking really good care of her. And her children basically had to, we realized that a lot of, a lot of taking care of her involved essentially empowering her enough to look at cancer every day in the eye and be like, no, you are not gonna control my life today, right? So we started asking one very simple question every day. And it was a question that was pretty much all encompassing. Basically, what would make her day better today? It's a great question. You should ask yourself that question every day because it covers everything from medical treatment to spending time with people to reading a book that you really like. Everything and anything kind of falls into this question that helped me and my siblings learn how to live every day at a time and also learn how to um, not just help my mother stay alive but also facilitate her life and her living. Now the reason I opened this very personal window into my life is essentially because I realized through this process we're never taught to ask ourselves that question. We don't have the time for it. We don't have the time to sit down and be like, Acha, what do I like? What do I really want to do today? What would make my day better today? I used to wake up with lists of things that I have to fix about myself, like I'm broken somehow, and I'm sure we all do it too. So one day I decided I have to be okay in order to take care of my mom which means I have to treat myself with just as much love and nurture as I do her and ask myself, what would make my day better today? It was a very exciting time for me, guys. I started swimming. I <laughs> started seeing my friends more often. I started making plans. I love board games. I want to eat cereal in the morning, so I started doing that. You know, it was a bunch of really, really nice things. And slowly and steadily, I started making lists that um, cover different grounds also, big things and small things about work. Like I want to write a song today or I want to release a song tomorrow. I want to make a video. I want to sit down and make some artwork and all of it sort of started making my day, one activity at a time started making my day better. And I realized that through this process, there were certain things that kept coming back to me, that kept coming, that were recurring themes in my life that made my day better. My name is Natasha Marajaz, and I'm gonna share some music that I've been producing over the last couple of years. I had a really, really hectic schedule over the last year and a half, but in spite of all of that, I realized I like showing up as a performer every day. Whether I have a play to do or not, whether I have a concert or not, I love showing up every day as a performer, which means I love rehearsing. And because I'm basically a nerd, I spent all of that time with these toys. All the time that I had not going to work, not doing shows, not taking care of mom, I used to spend with these toys. So what I'm gonna perform for you today is a bunch of stuff that I came up over the last year and a half. But before I do, my electronica alter ego is called Stupid Happiness Theory. And before I move on to the music, I wanna share with you some stupid happiness theories that made my year better. Number one. I now like to leave a place better than I found it, whether it means mediating a conversation between friends, starting a track with just the right brain sound to incite just the right nostalgia for my listener, or cleaning up after myself. That one's still a work in progress, which brings me to my second stupid happiness theory, which is we're human, we're gonna make mistakes, guys. We're gonna make mistakes every day, and understand that the, the guilt of getting something wrong washes over eventually and you only learn from your mistakes and that applies to music and outside. Um, which brought me to my third stupid happiness theory which is be a doer, just show up. Show up to something that you love, that makes you happy, that makes your day complete every day. Remember it makes, takes 21 days to create a habit which means that if you can remind yourself of something nice, of something good, of something kind, of something positive for 21 days, you're one day closer to your perfect day. Number four, finish what you've started, not because you have deadlines and not because someone's expecting you to finish what you start, because it feels really good to finish something, guys, it really does. And the last stupid happiness theory, because of which I'm standing in front of you guys, and I will always for the rest of my life, God willing, is sharing. Share love, share ideas, share compassion, share stories. It's 
sharing my mom's journey with her illness has what is what brought me here. You know, we spend a lot of time with our music. We spend a, as artists, we spend a lot of time making our music, writing it, taking it apart, bringing it back together, and all of it gives us a lot of joy. And I realized sharing that joy with an audience is essentially why an actor becomes an actor and a musician becomes a musician and an artist becomes an artist. So without further ado, I'd like to share that joy with you. Spent a long time, long time being delivered to you. To you, to you, to you. Whenever I see color, I see.
Now you'll tell me I'm not supposed to lie. Thank you.